Fluid contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first to my right, the challenger. Wrestling out of Austin, Texas. Weighing 190 pounds, AC Beach. His opponent to my left is wrestling out of Tokyo, Japan. Weighing 192 pounds, he is the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Kushida. So it's Kushida defending the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship against ACH here in Philadelphia on the Conquest Tour. Todd Sinclair is your referee. He presents the title that's at stake. Now, and ACH oh. not adhering to the code of honor. He's all business. Both men, great strikers, great high flyers. Well, and as we've seen now with the television title three, I don't think we could discount ACH here in this one. Oh, absolutely not. And just, you know, if you go by physical stature, the, the, the quads and hamstrings of ACH is where he finds a lot of his power, that core area. You know, he's gonna need that to, to combat. He's gotta stay out of the, of the hoverboard lock. So, you can see him wearing a uh, bow sleeves, maybe to try and be a little slippery. I don't know, once the, the match progresses, it's hot here in the arena tonight. Kushida with the early advantage in the, the overhand knuckle lock. Kushida with an MMA background, ACH with a boxing background. Kushida getting out of the way and Kushida had better be focused. Kushida had better be ready because his recent run-ins with Bushi and Los Ingobernables in New Japan, I know that's occupied a lot of his thought and attention over in New Japan. Absolutely, and then there's many, many wrestlers competing for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Now, not just in ROH, not just in New Japan, but even in England. Challengers from all over the world are after Kushida's title. And that's something that ACH wants. Yeah, Will Ospreay, the newest member of Chaos. And they are lining up to challenge Kushida for the title. But again, ACH is prepared to accept all the contracts that have already been signed for future title defenses for Kushida. That's part of the contractual issues that had to be worked out before this title match could be made. Nice. How does the influence with Kushida, how does the influence of Tajiri help the champion. Well, you, you can see it in his kicks. You can see it in his handspring elbow. Uh, the, the, the training of Tajiri was, was an awesome start for him. Tajiri, one of the, the innovators of the, the late 90s style, and uh, Kushida was a huge fan of his. Kushida used Tajiri, and not in a bad way, he used Tajiri as a, a stepping stone to, to go on and learn from other great uh, talents. You know, whether it be in New Japan, whether it be Keiji Mudo, you know, Kushida is definitely a student of the game. So Tomohiro Ishii holds the Ring of Honor World Television title. Will ACH own the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title after tonight? And both these men keeping it ground-based right now. Much to the glory, ugh, much to the delight of the Philadelphia fans. Runs him through. Drop down there. Taking out that leg.
He went from a you can't see me to two boots in the face. Now up on his shoulders. ACH slips off. Oh! Stunner! Stunner! He's going to be drinking a side tonight! Section goes Kushida. Now set across. No slide. Breaks put on. Oh. Now out on the floor into the barricade. Oh. oh. Took his chest first. Right in front of you, Jerry Garcia. Nice to see him in attendance tonight. I could have sworn we saw Sam the fan. Got quite a path cleared to our right. ACH stuck the landing. Met him with a good elbow. Wow! The champion down in trouble. Checking the time. He may have said, he may have said Kushida back in time. Uh, that is a challenger. Press the advantage now, get over here, oh. yes. Champion down, Kushida in trouble too. ACH kicks, ACH unable to keep Kushida down. Kushida kicks out. I talked to our friend Steve Carino the other day. We're both very excited about Invasion Attack. What did he say? Well, Carino said that he was all set and ready to return to commentary for that New Japan event on April the 10th. Are you kidding me? Why? I've been sitting here six months and I didn't get that spot. Oh! Swiss! Cover two. So you're telling me. Wait a second. That now. it's going to be you and Steve Carino yes. back on commentary. Yes. Live from Japan yes. on NewJapanWorld.com. Yes, NJPWWorld.com on April the 10th. Yes. That's what I'm but telling. But not me. Carino-san is a big name in Japan. I understand 80 tours, divorces everywhere, you know, because he's a ladies' man. Well, I don't know about that. Just made a successful return to almost a new champion. But I, I thought I would get the deal. No, don't get upset. I'm You've done a great to. job. But I am petitioning Nigel McGinnis for Steve Carino's return. Why are you telling me that to my face? No, because I think he's being unjustly punished. I understand that, but haven't I done a good job? You've done a great job. Why are you getting so upset? Why are you trying to replace me? I'm just a masked man looking for a payday. Look at that nice abdominal stretch. Oh, 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 I thought he was, I thought he was going for a little thumb in the bum. Oh. Why would you know that? I, because I studied the, oh, the, yeah. the art of the abdominal stretch. Billy Robinson, Steve Carino, they were innovators. Oh, Kushida now fighting up from underneath. Gorgeous leg Larry yeah. there by ACH. Boy, Kushida went for the ropes. ACH cut him off, but was only able to get a two count. And that's the difference between an ACH of 2016 and ACH of 2015. Maybe ACH would have played to the fans back then instead of going for that pin. 
but he saw Kushida roll. He went right after it, looking for that win because he knows he needs that three count to get that championship up. Again, this would be a, a career validator for ACH as Kushida snatches that left arm. Kushida told me after taking the title, Wrestle Kingdom, he wanted to come back to Ring of Honor. And he was looking forward to competing here. He said Tokyo Sports this week that he wants to beat Jay Lethal and become the Ring of Honor World Champion. And remember, they had an amazing match, 2014. I'd love to see a Lethal Kushida match for the world title. Now, Lethal's got a world title defense tonight here against Matt Seidel, and of course, Kushida and Seidel had a memorable encounter right here in Philadelphia last year, and Seidel got the better of Kushida. Oh, danger zone. We know what Kushida is looking for right now, three. He's definitely trying to set up that hoverboard lock hole. Punishing the left arm. His version of the Kimura, he calls it the hoverboard lock. No safe haven for ACH, my God! Wrestling that come over, Kushida, one of, oh, one of the most popular here with the Ring of Honor fans. Looking for that Moonsault press. Quailer from Muda. Caught him. Cover to and to the hoverboard lock. Smart, smart. ACH gets to that room as quick as possible. So dangerous Kushida is. He could go for a pinfall and then quickly hit that Kimura. Even on defense, you gotta be thinking two, three moves ahead. Now the Irish whip yanking on that left arm even more. ACH gets the boot up, backs the champion away. They jockey for position. Falls behind. Tried to block the elbow. Oh, nice German oh, continuous bridge. motion. The bridge two wheel. Oh. has got a new champion. It looks so good. The only issue there was ACH couldn't put. Kushida on the top of his shoulders, where all that impact would have hit. Just that little, just that little bit may have cost ACH the match. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight title is on the line. Kushida defending against ACH here in Philly on the Conquest Tour. He's got to capitalize on it. Maybe hit the brain buster. Go for the midnight star. 
But it's hot in here. Both men got to be winded. Now ACH climbing to the top. Is he thinking about Midnight Star? Does he have enough to be able to hit this? If he does, if he lands it, wait a second, Kushida springs to life. Much to the surprise of ACH. Looking maybe top rope suplex here. Oh no. Sheeta luckily rolls. Caught him! Kushida's hurt. It's time running out for Kushida and his grip on the IWGP Junior Heavyweight title. Slow to get up. Taking a lot of punishment. What a classic here. Yeah, you see. Kushida going right for the left hand, trying to pull that arm in close. That sleeve that you mentioned before, three, maybe he did have it as a part of his defensive effort, but Kushida has pulled that down enough where now it will be a non factor. Might be able to get the grip that he's looking for. Warming up. It's sprint training. Whoa! Oh.
He's got him. Rolls through. He's close. 